Hi folk, um, I hope everybody had a good New Year and Christmas. Um, this is my first video I'm putting on YouTube um, in 2020. And one thing I've been working on over the Christmas period um, for one particular site and in the New Year many more sites is a paper cut feature um, called Enable Printing and um, <clears throat> what this does is allow you to deploy print queues to um, devices particularly in this my case PCs that are not joined to local active directory they're joined to Azure AD and we manage them via Intune and Intune one of its shortcomings is there's no real simple way of uh, deploying printers to devices um, so enable printing allows you to do that so you can run papercut without any local active directory whatsoever and deploy printers to your PCs um, we also have a lot of Chrome OS devices Chromebooks for example and for that we use papercuts mobility print and that's really easy and very quick to set up so I'm not going to particularly cover that now although the two things are related so I made a um, little document, just really a crib sheet for myself, that pulls together four papercut articles on how to set this up. Um, when you go into your papercut server and you click on enable printing, there's a little um, video that comes up here and it's only a couple of minutes long and it makes it seem really, really easy to do and it's only going to take you a couple of seconds to set it up. Um, that's not exactly the case depending on your print environment and how things are set up so it does take a little bit of figuring out um, and the first thing you need to have is a test VM virtual machine um, and on that you don't want any printers you want to delete all the printers which you, um, exist there by default things like saved PDF and all those sorts of things just get rid of everything so it's just blank um, you don't want this one in tuned or anything like that it's just a VM local VM and you can just log into it with um, a local account and uh, that's what you need and once you've got that set up you need to make sure that um, you have mobility printing set up on your print server um, so if I go into uh, mobile and BYOD on this particular print server which is on a temporary little box so it doesn't have much in the way of resources it's not particularly quick at the moment um, so we've got mobility print here and um, if you click into this it opens up the uh, mobility print web interface um, And this is on a very simple network. This I'm um, just using the um, MDNS option, but if you've got more complicated networks, they've got other ways of setting this up. And we just got three printers published here. Mobility Print will pick up all the printers that you've got on your print server, and by default publish them all for, to Mobility Print. But uh, you can turn them individually on and off. So I've got one Follow Me queue, and then these are two um, discrete copiers. So you need to set that up first of all, and if you're using Chrome OS devices, you just need to push the Mobility Print um, app to your clients, and um, that's it really. To make this work, you need to sync your users from somewhere. So you either need to sync your users from um, G Suite, or you can sync them from Azure AD. Uh, I sync mine's from. Uh, G Suite because that works better in the environment where we're predominantly G Suite we use lots of Chromebooks so when they get the prompt on Papercut on a Chromebook to sign in they just click on the Google login button and it signs them and they don't have to put any credentials whatsoever in um, but you sync your users however you want but uh, we use uh, G Suite and we set up groups from G Suite and do all of that sort of stuff but enable printing um, I haven't made any changes um, allows you to push these to things like Windows devices 
as a local printer so they could be using something like Word or Excel whereas mobility print if you just print push the um, extension will only be available uh, when you're logged into Chrome in the Chrome browser then they'll work fine but if you want to print from other apps you need to actually have um, this set up so what you have to do on a test VM and I've got one here which I've kind of played around with since then is um, follow the instructions you've got in this first link I've got here and I quite like in Google Docs now when you click on a link it gives you a preview of the site which is quite funky um, and it tells you to set up your mobility print queues so I've talked about that set up the print queues on a reference computer now exactly how you do this depends on how you're authenticating your users and whether the computers um, AD joined or not these ones aren't so what you've got to do is um, on this computer here you need to set up um, paper cup um, mobility print and it tells you where to go so it goes to the IP address of your server and set up for mobility print you download the mobility print app and then it will prompt you which printers do you want to install and you select the ones you want to install and um, there's this bit which is quite important um, what you want to do is in, in our situation these are all Kaisera copiers so they've all got the same driver so on those mobility print queues what you do is change the driver from the general paper cut global print driver which it tells you you've got a you're going to have by default and change it to the actual Kaisera one or whatever printers you've got driver and once you've updated those uh, you've got to configure the print defaults for each queue so on this test VM you set up the print um, options for each one of those printers that you want everybody to have as default things like double sided mono rather than color and so on whatever you want um, so once you've got those queues set up what you've then got to do is clone the print queues into the print deploy um, so it tells you on the reference computer you have to go to Papercut um, MF so you log into your print server on the reference computer um, go to this page here enable print print deploy it won't look like this it will look like you haven't got any printers it look like uh, it gives you this option to download and clone the clone tool for Windows and if I click on here um, you can click on add or update a queue and it will give you the option to download the cloner tool you download the cloner tool on the reference computer and it'll run through and say you want to clone these computers and they will appear in Papercut at that point you must have Papercut open and logged in as your administrator on that page on the reference computer when you run the cloner that's important it does spell it out all on here and then your queues will appear and what you've got to then do is connect them to a zone so you've got to create this thing called a zone and the zone is made up of an IP address range so that's this particular site's IP address range and you've got to add some people to it the default zone is any internal IP address and the default users are everyone so I've selected all staff and pupils and the internal IP address range of this particular seal and then you add which queues you want to be sort of on this zone and you could have multiple zones so different groups get different printers and different users get different printers or if you're in a particular IP address range you get different printers so it's quite flexible if you this is a simple site so everybody just basically gets the same printers um, so you connect your printers queues to a zone um, but you're not finished yet so that's not the first of three links um, this bit here is quite important and it tells you how to customize some of the uh, more advanced features for me they're not advanced features that are essential things so there's this file here 
um, with a key called user identity method and in it I had to set this key prompt so if I click on this actual server um, it's this one here you can see that you've got this bit called user identity method that means it will prompt the user to sign in when they log in if they're not already logged in before if you don't put that in um, Trust uses the uh, logged in user identity for the authentication process so ours are Azure AD logins to the PC but we're not syncing Azure AD to Papercut so it just thinks oh yeah you have nothing to do with Papercut so you never even get a prompt to sign in if you use that one and the same thing applies here if you choose auto I'm not sure if this is it says if the computer has domain membership I think that's AD Active Directory local Active Directory or Azure then it will use that to try and identify the user so in our case we're not using Azure we're using um, G Suite so we have to have the prompt option there selected so that's quite important and then there's this polling config thing here which is how often does it check with the print server to see whether there's any new print queues or whether the user's actually signed in and this is by default 15 minutes this is in seconds so I've dropped this down to 5 minutes plus or minus 60 seconds so you've got to have a plus or minus thing that just means the pop-up pops up a bit more quickly than it was doing so I had to tweak those values in that file to make it work kind of like I wanted to so I've sort of documented them for my own benefit there and then what you've got to do because we manage our computers via Intune is to push this out now it gives you um, an MSI to download and I made the mistake just being nupty there I was I clicked on that download an MSI oh great MSI easy to deploy via Intune and it didn't work uh, it doesn't work because what you've got to do is that MSI is a generic thing and you've got to customize it um, so if you go on here um, it tells you how to deploy it using um, uh, Intune and it takes you through a load of steps basically you've got to make an Intune win package using um, the GitHub tool to turn a, a, a file into an Intune win file and then you've got to um, you've got to put in some customization at some point um, yeah so in the install command when you do this on Intune it's got to have your server host dot company LAN it's got to have that bit in there or it won't work so if I show you what that looks like on Intune uh, devices uh, that's not where I want to do in apps all apps uh, so it's this one here we're going to properties uh, yeah here so this is the name of your MSI file that it generates so that's our one and that's the IP address of the print server and then at the end you have got to have this server underscore host equals the IP address of your or the DNS name of your um, print server that's very important and it uh, the instructions are pretty good once you've realized that you need to do that um, and it just takes you through the rest of deploying that via engine once you do that then the client gets deployed correctly and then the other couple of nice things that you can do and again there's some instructions for it here another article is customize the branding of your um, uh, pop-up that appears that prompts the user to sign in and then they get their printers so that's what the generic one looks like 
and if I jump back here I can show you what the, a customized one looks like. So because we're using Google usernames so your Google username and password are required and then username so this is garsingtonprimary.org but it could be any domain so I put in username just to make it hopefully blindingly obvious what the user has to do password your Google one and then you can put in a little picture here um, and it tells you in that particular customization thing where to put the um, file in this particular bit and then you've got a customized working thing. It only takes a few seconds in my experience to actually deploy the printers and then it works pretty seamlessly. If you've got users who are printing to multiple accounts you would need to deploy the regular paper cut user client as well because it would need to know which um, which which account they're gonna charge to or on your copier if you've got an updated version of paper that you've got the option where you can choose the account on the um, copier itself you could do that um, that's kind of it um, as far as I can see it works but it did take me a little while to figure out exactly how to make it work um, properly but the key thing was reading these four paper cut articles carefully it's not quite as simple as the little paper cut videos kind of imply it is. But anyway, so hopefully that's vaguely useful for anybody who wants to have a go at playing with um, paper cut print deploy. It does seem quite good um, after a bit of fiddling around. Anyways, cheerio!